guys, what's going on? This video today, I'm going to be talking about how to survive in the gym when you are on your period. Yes, I know, this is not really a topic that us girls like to talk about with each other, especially for guys. They don't want to hear about it. They don't know the first thing about what it is we have to deal with when we have those days. They just, they don't have a clue. Therefore, this video is working out on your period, seven tips. And these seven tips are tips that I've like specifically come to learn over the course of time from my own personal experience, tips that have pretty much helped me out in those cases of need. But of course, by the end of this video, if you feel that you have discovered some tips yourself that I did not include in this video, please, by all means, feel free to include them, mention them in the comments down below. If this is the first video that you are watching on my channel, hi, my name is Joanna. Make sure that you hit the little subscribe button down there so you will know the next time that I upload a video. And without further ado, let's go on ahead and get started. So the first tip that I have for you guys is to do HIT cardio on your first day or your first couple of days. HIT cardio means high intensity interval training. And what that means is that you are doing very high levels of running, jumping, incorporating a variety of different types of exercises to get your heart rate up in a short period of time. So for instance, you could be on the treadmill running at the highest rate possible for 10 to 15 seconds and then walking at a normal pace for maybe 30 seconds and then repeating that process over and over again. Just take it a little bit on the easier side and do some HIIT cardio. But at the same time, if you do feel comfortable to go and lift weights on the first couple of days, by all means go and do it. The time that you actually are on your period is when your estrogen and progesterone levels decrease. So women are actually more able to lift heavier weight. But this is of course if you feel well enough physically to go ahead and take advantage of that. But just wanted to throw that out there in case you are interested in making some gains. The second tip that I have is for you to start doing more stretching during your period. You want to stick more to poses like the knee to chest, which can help you in loosening your abdomen muscles, which of course are going to be more tense during the times that you are struggling and having those menstrual cramps, and they can help further reduce those cramps after you do the cardio. So certain poses, for example, that could help you are doing yoga poses like the cobra pose and the bow pose. And you want to make sure that you avoid any inverted yoga poses like shoulder stance, for example. Stretch after your cardio. That's probably going to be the best way to make use of your body during the time where you just don't feel like pushing yourself at the gym. My third tip is to wear appropriate gym clothing. It's very popular now in the fitness industry where the trend is becoming more of compression shorts and crop tops. Those are awesome things to wear to the gym. However, those aren't really the types of clothes that you want to be wearing during your period. You know, you don't want the elastic band to be tightening up in that area where your menstrual cramps are going to be happening. So I would recommend that you try wearing some more cottony types of leggings instead of spandex leggings and instead of wearing form-fitting tank tops or crop tops maybe wear something a little bit more looser a bigger t-shirt or something that doesn't exactly hug you in your core area my fourth tip and this is a big one be prepared for any accidental leakage if at all possible so ladies this means to make sure that you are prepared with using the right tampon that will help you during that time especially when you go to the gym my go-to choice is the tampax pocket pearl this is the perfect tampon to use within my personal active lifestyle it's guaranteed to give you on-the-go protection when you go to the gym and it absolutely helps to prevent leaks and the special detail about the built-in backup braid inside this tampon is it actually helps by channeling them back into the core. They are small in size and easily compactable. They can be taken absolutely anywhere. Put this inside your pocket, in your leggings, because leggings that I at least use have pockets in them now, so you can just slip this in there. No one will know it's there. You can slip it in the pocket of your gym bag. And not only also is the wrapping so cool in detail, but you don't have to have that awkward moment when you go into the bathroom stall and try to open it and make sure that the other girl next to you is not listening and hears it barely hear anything. And then one last cool thing about this tampon, you will know when it is secure because it actually clicks. I mean, I'm pretty confident that you all know the details of what happens next, so I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. 
The next tip that I have is to eat dark chocolate. Yes, ladies, you can still go to the gym and eat dark chocolate, but a big thing about dark chocolate is that it helps to reduce your cortisol levels. It's natural for your body to get stressed when you're on your period. That's obviously natural. When you're bloating so much because you're holding water, your hormones are going all over the place. So eat a little bit of dark chocolate. Not only will it help you to feel less stressed, but it'll feel like a reward after you went to the gym. The next tip that I have is to take advantage of the sauna if your gym has one. It's going to help even more to relax your muscles, especially the menstrual ones. You're on your first or second date, so if you don't have access to a heating pad, maybe take advantage of the sauna in your gym. And a bonus that the sauna provides is that it helps you to sweat. So in case you're feeling a little bit on the bloated side, maybe getting a little bit of sweat will help you to feel more comfortable. My last tip that I have is a very obvious one but still one that I feel is important to include and that is to stay hydrated. Your body is obviously natural to bloat during your period that is going to happen guaranteed. So if you are going to go to the gym you're probably going to want to sweat a lot so you'll feel less bloated. You're going to want to make sure that you don't push yourself to the point where you're not drinking in enough water to accommodate all the sweat that you're releasing from your body. And drinking lots of water will also help you to stay more regular when you're on your period, help you to reduce your blow, especially if you're somebody who likes to treat yourself to more sweet and salty foods. Drinking a lot of water will also help to balance all that sodium out that you'll be probably consuming during that time, which is normal, natural, don't feel bad about it. We all do it, I definitely do it. But yes, if you are gonna to go to the gym on the first few days of your period, please make sure that you take your water with you. Stay hydrated. So that was all of my tips for this video on how you can work out efficiently in the gym while you're still on your period. I really hope that this video was entertaining to some of you, and if any of you guys out there, like I said, have any tips that I did not mention in this video, please go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. I'm sure many of us are looking to see if there's anything that we can do to feel more comfortable in the gym when it is that time of the month for us. Don't forget to subscribe also, and if you are not following me on any of my other social media platforms, they are all going to be in the description. They're all the same username, at ojojo with three H's. And that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.